My name is Tobias Lindholm. I am the writer and director of A War. Before this scene, we've just seen our Danish troops uh, locate an, an, an IED, explosive device, in the roadside. Um, and they've decided to, to check out, to see, to put snipers out to see if the Taliban should come by and pick it up now that they know that it has been located. Um, they have eyes in the area as well. So, so we've hidden in this formation of rocks and we're now waiting to see if Taliban actually comes by. And, and they do, at least they see a guy on a motorbike uh, coming by. Um, in this scene, I used an actor and real surrounded by real soldiers to make sure that the authenticity and the professionalism of the soldiers was respected. And, and that, especially for this scene, became a way to, to make this whole sequence with the snipers. For the first time in my life, I actually allowed um, participants in a film uh, to come in and, and, and have a say in the editing room. And I basically gave the snipers... Uh, final cut on the scene, not on the moral aspects, but on the technical aspects. I was not out for the best drama, I was out for the most accurate, professional uh, description of what these snipers do um, and what their, li what their job is out there. And, and we did this take many, many times to make sure that what they were saying actually fitted to what happened down on the ground. I could not reuse takes as you often would do. I would need to have the the action on the road to be precise because they are coming on it on a very precise level. And um, it's an anecdote that was told to me by a Danish soldier who had served in Afghanistan a couple of times. And, and he told me this anecdote of, of, of a group of soldiers locating an IED and watching the Taliban he has he, as, he, as he builds a wall of, of living kids around him to make sure that he doesn't get known. Of course the Taliban knows that there are snipers around and, and he's afraid of getting shot so he will take up this, this human shield to make sure that he's not shot. So um, now that he has the bomb up they're actually allowed to shoot him. Before he started to dig they were not allowed to shoot him but now they have hostile and intent as they call it they can shoot him and they are allowed to but they are not it's not possible for them um, because he's taking a kid with him on the motorbike and therefore they they they, they give up and actually um, they, they don't think they're gonna get him until this moment where our Taliban guys thinks that he is safe and he slows down the motorbike and let the kid go. This was also part of the anecdote uh, that I was told uh, in the writing process. The kid runs, now they are actually allowed to shoot the Taliban, and instead of, you know, it being a heroic shoot about a Danish sniper who is extremely professional, he actually hits the leg in the first shot and needs to relo relocate and then take aim again uh, to try to do the final shot and, and, and kill the, the, the enemy.